So the Ghislaine Maxwell trial is going on. Is she a sex predator or is she the scapegoat? So, so Bob, what do you think about this story? Well, it, it reads like a script from a new James Bond movie. I, I mean, it's to me, it's just incredible. I think it's going to end up being one of the big, big stories of the of the decade when you get it, if it's allowed to go on long enough. Right. Because I think, and uh, I told my wife this uh, when I heard Jeffrey Epstein was in custody, and I swear this is true. I said he'll be dead within a few days. Right. And sure enough, they just so happened to let those two guards off that night, and they never did that. We knew it was coming. Supposed to suicide. We knew it was coming. Uh, but um, the thing is now, the potential for the largest scandal ever to break, who's going to get a hold of this black book? How far can the defense go? Man, we've got some mighty powerful people that have had a lot of people killed in their career to protect their privilege because we're right. talking – we're talking global billionaires. I mean, yep. what do you guys think? So this is like – this is a keystone in a lot of stuff that's been going on the past few years. So you got the Epstein situation, you know, Pizzagate, where they're saying that, that there's uh, the elite are preying on children. Um, you also have uh, all the QAnon stuff. So a big focus of the QAnon was what was going on with Epstein and Little St. James Island. But, I mean – you know, this is kind of what evidence that what some of these conspiracies have going on is true, you know, yeah. at least some of them. But, you know, all this other stuff has been thrown into these conspiracies to kind of discredit the, in my opinion, like to discredit the truth of what's really going on, which is this Epstein situation is huge or Maxwell trial. So, right. Well, yeah. we got, we've got video also from the day three of the trial today. Well, you know, and the other aspect of this, it, uh, with her being alive, I truly believe she will be the scapegoat. And what the prosecution is going to do is they're going to rip her to shreds like a lawnmower and dispute so much of whatever she has to say that she is an unreliable witness and just go run down the list to where it's literally, you know, she was the scapegoat and she can't, she can't, well. Yeah, it seems know. like somebody's got to be the fall person I, here. Right. And how, how much weight when you justify against a dead man? Well, so what if you said that's what Jerry did? He's not here to defend himself. Right. Yeah, so you got some videos to yeah, see. Yeah, we got a video. Let's check it out from, this is from today. Ghislaine Maxwell, a sex predator or a scapegoat? Day three of the trial of the British socialite has begun in New York. The 59-year-old faces charges related to her alleged involvement in Jeffrey Epstein's sex crimes. Yesterday, the court heard from her first accuser. Only identified as Jane, she testified that Epstein sexually assaulted her when she was 14 and Maxwell was there when it happened. She said... So, going after 14-year-olds, I mean... So, why does, why does an elite person need to go after a 14-year-old when they could basically, with all the money they have, have any woman they want? So, first of all, you'll notice that it's only showing, you know, pictures from the court stenographer, whoever it is, because this trial, it's a... It's a federal trial, right? Yeah, they don't, they, don't, uh, they don't video federal trials, but even more so is they're not letting any audio get out because the judge has deemed it uh, too sensational for the public. So too they're inflammatory. Keep, too, too inflammatory. So, and, uh, speaking of the 14 year old, you know, I, I was reading some of the articles posted on the free speech forum today. Uh, there's a thread going on about this trial and, uh, man, you wouldn't believe how many women, there was at least three women that have come out, you know, put their name to it. Uh, talked about between the ages of 14 and 16. And there's even one article about uh, on Epstein's birthday one time, he flew in t three 12-year-old French girls. Wow. Basically, their 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 families were poor, and, uh, and so he treated himself to that. But the thing is, we're talking about Epstein, but every single situation with Epstein, Maxwell was the one who facilitated it, you know, and she was even his girlfriend. Right. It's almost off like she, and on. she groomed these girls. Right. 
Yeah, and you know, if we talk about psychoanalytics, uh, if we go Freudian here, uh, or even Jungian for that matter, it's that level of, uh, well, okay, let's use drug addiction. Uh, you, you try heroin once at a party and it, and it works for you and you're shooting five milligrams of it and you do it mm. for a month and say, well, let's take it up. Why don't you go to 10 tonight and see how it feels? And before you know it, you're taking 100 milligrams of heroin to get the same high. Right. Now, you tell me a guy like a rock star like Gene Simmons claims to have made love to 5,000 women. Maybe there's just an extra attraction that starts to come in with the younger they are, the yeah. better. And yeah. I don't have to elaborate. To I guess our you get audience. like right. bored with we, the normal stuff or something somehow. Ab- I mean. Absolutely, the news off of it, and by golly, here you know there's a bunch of underage girls coming in here, and it adds to that that excitement of that psychosis of forbidden fruit. I mean, I I can just the grandiosity, it's there. Yeah. Right? And so. so so real quick, that we uh, there's a Darkness Reserve podcast that we're producing through the Free Speech Forum, and they've been talking about H.H. H. Holmes. And H.H. H. Holmes, he's a serial killer, but he started off just just running these con schemes. So he would con people, and, and then his cons would get bigger and bigger and cheat people out of money because the thrill, you know, he had to keep escalating it, and then he ends up murdering a bunch of people in his hotel, you know. It's potentially a situation where somebody just got to push the boundaries, get that dopamine hit. It takes more each time. So I follow what Bob's talking right, about. Right. Yes. Yeah. Maxwell instructed her on how to give Epstein sexual massages and sometimes physically participated. In a graphic testimony, she described details of the abuse and why she didn't speak out sooner. I was frozen in fear. I was terrified and felt gross and felt ashamed. Maxwell didn't give much away when she listened to Jane's testimony. Lynn looked at uh, her, you know, from the very start and just kind of looked toward her. No real expressions. She did seem to breathe a little heavier when uh, the testimony began, but otherwise kept her face kind of trained toward the uh, witness stand. Later today, Jane will be cross-examined by the defence team. Maxwell has pleaded not guilty. Her lawyers say she's being made a scapegoat for Epstein, who killed himself in jail before his trial. Epstein's pilot, Larry Vizowski, was also in court. He flew Epstein's VIPs, including Prince Andrew, all over the world. But he said he never saw Miss Maxwell or Epstein being inappropriate with a minor in the 30 years he worked for him. Yeah, that's an important point right there that he never saw anything happen like that. But um, he did release some big names today. What? Did you was hear that he it, was mentioned it, Trump? Was it him officially that released the names yeah. or was it flight logs? No, it was him. That he okay. actually admitted that. That Trump was on his – Yeah, Trump and then uh, Clinton and then a U.K. official. What was his name? Well, Prince, Andrew. Prince Andrew, yeah, one of the royal line. and He was that's, the first guy to really get busted out. Well, well, that's what's so explosive about all this. You know, we've touched on, like, Epstein and Maxwell's involvement, but Epstein owned an island, Little St. James Islands, out in the Caribbean. And, uh, and this is where they're taking all these trips to. And they have all of these uh, elite flying out there, you know, federal judges, previous presidents, um, uh, the owner of Victoria's Secret, Les Wexner, I believe is his name. Uh, I even saw like Beyonce and Jay-Z have been on the list, you know. <laughs> now, maybe not all these people have been involved in the fiasco, but, um, you know, there's pictures of uh, Bill Clinton, you know, with some of these very young girls. There's pictures of like Bill Clinton out in the ocean, you know, with of with course. a few other guys that <laughs> it looked extremely creepy. But... Um, Where's Bill Gates? I mean, like, (laughs) why is his name not being brought up, I wonder? So, Bill Gates is probably involved in everything. He was probably the one that Epstein was working for. (laughs) But, I mean, that's – and that's what a lot of people – Is that what caused the divorce? Oh, gosh. All the pressure. stupid, you know. She – and she had made a comment. They interviewed her, and she – Epstein gave her the creeps is basically what she said. Wow. Who is that? Bill Gates' wife. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, yeah, because there's pictures of him. She did not like him from the get-go. She took her seven seconds and said, you are a piece of manure. And that's another thing is, like, all these names on here, 
I don't think that everybody's guilty that's ever been involved with Epstein, but um, there's a lot of of twistedness that has gone around. You know, even I don't know if you got are aware of the Rothschilds. So the Rothschilds oh, family, God, they're yeah. they're considered the wealthiest. You know, they, they hold the, they don't even know how much the Rothschild family is worth. Right, and so there's pictures of Epstein with the Rothschilds and connect. <laughs> We could go on and on, but uh, we yeah. can we can keep playing well, the video. You, one second, can you tell us about the flight logs? So there were supposedly a bunch of flight logs out there. I mean, yeah, there's been lists, and I I saw a, a, I don't know if it's a flight log today, but a list of forty people, and there was a hun- there was forty explicit people called out. You know, oh, that's right. where I saw Beyonce, Jay Z. Um, there was there was one guy on there who was like a fashion fashion mogul who died of a heart attack just like yesterday yeah. oh wow so that's uh i read there was over 700 flight logs or flights that went out that weren't supposed to be released that the faa accidentally released yeah and that and, they're using to the track you know people going back and forth to his island. yeah i think the list that i was talking about is basically people who are defendants in this suit like who have been accused of wrongdoing through this right Jane is the first woman of four who are due to testify that they were abused by Jeffrey Epstein and Ghislaine Maxwell. The trial is expected to last six weeks. If found guilty, Ghislaine Maxwell could face the prospect of up to 80 years in jail. Natalia Horkera, 5 News. You know, here's another dynamic that can come into play here. He was, uh, if you got invited to an Epstein party, you were on the A-list. Mm-hmm. So let's say 100 people are invited, like Jay-Z and Beyonce, and other people who literally do go down there, they get a care, uh, cottage, and they eat and drink and be merry, and there's eight guys that are on the list in the black book that are going to get the treatment for the mm. weekend. So it's very easy to say, yeah, man, I was... I was down there. The place was covered up. There wasn't any 14-year-old girls running around. It was a bunch of adults. I saw yeah. that. And it was just it was a spiffy. He threw the greatest parties. Yeah. And, and 150 yards away, you know, some 14-year-old is being raped. Or yeah. 12-year-old, for that yeah. matter. And who knows? She's going to come running out screaming? Hell, no, they had that stuff covered. So that's what uh, what was interesting about the list I was talking about is all those people are defendants, you know. So basically, somebody's accusing them of doing something. But uh, you know, amidst all this stuff, is is Epstein has always been another thing that's tied to him is blackmail. So we always wonder like why are politicians and everybody like run the country the way they do? And I mean, it's it's despicable what you see, but. The theory is a lot of these people, there's blackmail on them. Right. You know, and Epstein had rooms that had, like, video cameras, like 14 video cameras, and, and he was so proud of his rooms with video cameras. And they're running these these children, basically. Must in be a reason for that, huh? Well, and, and, you know, Epstein was – they one of these girls called the FBI about this in 2007 – Basically, like, the FBI acted like they weren't surprised, completely ignored the situation, even though she said she's been involved, you know, being raped by Epstein or maybe some of the, you know, she might have called out some of the more important people involved. Epstein's also been associated with uh, the Mossad, who's Israel's uh, intelligence community, and there's there's a... a, uh, a private organization out there called Black Cube, you know, who basically owns intelligence. But you, you want to run the world? You get blackmail on people? I mean, this, to me, is the conspiracy of conspiracies. And it's getting brushed under the rug. Mm-hmm. You know, I've seen pictures where there's all this news information in the tiny corner you see the Maxwell trial. I mean, and all this yeah, stuff barely is, covered. All yeah. this stuff is factual, you know? Right. There's like facts coming out about the situation. The thing that I wonder about, Jerry and I were talking, uh, uh, Brooks and I were talking about this earlier. Um, I didn't know that he had exposed video cameras, but what better thing to have in a ball? And have a, a, a long string number attached to it and let your guests know that, hey, as long as you take care of me and I'm taking care of you, these videos are staying right here. But if anything happens to me, I have five different people with this wow. 14-digit code. Mm. 
that are going to forward this digital information on, and your ass is grass. That would be something if that got released. So, so that's always been one of the theories: is that uh, John McAfee and uh, John McAfee or Q or uh, Snowden, or there was one more, uh, Julian Assange. There was always the idea, or these people had the uh, key to and they were going to release all the files and there's been hopes and hopes and hopes and there's this running john mcafee theory that you know john mcafee died recently right Norton um, security right and so but that stuff never materializes you know to me to some degree it's just to keep people's hopes alive that something's going to happen you know right when when it's going to get brushed under the rug and uh you know another thing about epstein is he he basically was like giddy and thought it was hilarious. He said, "There's no amount of there's nobody that cannot be bought. There is nobody that cannot be bought with the right amount of money." And you know, interestingly so, enough, uh, Maxwell, her father, Robert Maxwell, was uh, a multimillionaire. Right. And uh, he he died under uh, suspicious circumstances, and she took wow. over his fortune. And she sort of started to ease, uh, they said, uh, spent money uh, suspiciously and eased into a jet set lifestyle. Yeah. So I'm not saying she's a guilty, innocent lamb by any means, but she's certainly the convenient scapegoat to take the hit, discredit all this stuff, brush yep. it all under the rug, get a conviction, put her in jail and move on. Yep. I think that, I think even Epstein, you know, billionaire, but he was set up to be a fall guy all along. And if, these people that are so important involved, you know the intelligence communities knew this was going on. How could they not know that this was going on, you know? And it's being covered up. Right. Uh, Typical. So, and one point about Robert Maxwell, we could probably do an entire podcast on it, but he basically privatized science. So he bought, he basically bought out all the university scientists and paid them for their articles and basically put it behind a paywall. That's why if you try and find like an academic article on something, right, it wants you to pay for this membership. Yeah, I was, it, re I was reading about this on the forum. So basically, yeah. she had already learned how to do this. She could have taught Epstein that. Right. So, I mean, this is this is the conspiracy of conspiracies, you know. Do you, do you think she's guilty, though? Like, she knew about what was going on? Like, she's going to be convicted? Oh, with the, with the girls? Yeah. Absolutely, yes. She was absolutely involved. And Epstein, you know, he was the fall guy. He was the facilitator. But in facilitating it, you know, he it's like the guys selling Coke, you know. You got the drug dealer selling Coke, but they like to dip into their stash some, you know. And, uh, yeah, I, I think that they were designated. And real quick, you know, it's interesting. There's, there's the left that try – and say, oh, Trump's the big guy involved in this. And there's the right that likes to talk about Clinton. So, I mean, it's like everybody's pointing fingers at each other, so nobody can really come together on what's really going on here. But something interesting is one of these one of these females was actually at, at Mar-a-Lago when this happened, like specifically given massages at Mar-a-Lago, oh, wow. wh which is, you know, Trump's pad, but... It's it's so deep. I mean, I don't know where to be, yeah where to be, well, begin there's like or end. Six weeks more of trial, so right. a lot more information. There'll to be come one out. person go to prison, and it will be Maxwell. Right, and that's it. And it'll be over. And you know, everybody else, all these women are probably going to be hundreds of millionaires after this because they probably signed NDAs with all these elite, gotten paid millions and millions to not say anything. And a book and, that, and a movie. And that's yeah. And so, and uh, you know. If you want to get in more details, get on the freespeechforum.com. Right. You know, there's deep discussion. There's a thread out there. Theories going on. So, right. you know, if you like yeah. this podcast, like check us. out the forum. Like the podcast. Yeah. Subscribe. We got all kinds of good stuff coming at you. So, Yeah, and also hit that bell so you don't miss any podcasts. You're alerted anytime we've got a new podcast. So. Boink. I got it. Yep. You're a pro, man. Well, this has been fun. Yeah. Uh, catch our next podcast. It'll be on YouTube and all the other uh, podcast platforms, and we'll see you next time.